I really like to bring unique things to the channel, and today I think I've got a pretty unique item to share with you. It's the Lectech Electric Skateboard Kit, and it's really built for kids. So keep that in mind throughout this whole thing. I'm not the target market for this. Uh, you're looking at for kids, really. But with that being said, this is such a cool setup for a kid to be able to really dive into something like electric skateboards. This kit's designed for riders uh, like 12 to 16. I think you could honestly even go a little bit younger with the right kid. Um, as long as like, you know, the kid's like kind of a little bit coordinated and stuff. Uh, and if you pat them up, whatever, just throw them on it, let's go. You know, I could see like a parent and a kid putting this thing together um, like in a weekend and having a really great time doing it. The kit costs $299 or you can get it with a helmet and pads for $350. So if you have no pads or anything for your kid, just buy it with the uh, helmet and pads. That way, you know, they've got some protection. Always wear a helmet when you ride any electric skateboard uh, at any time. As far as the specs go, we'll get those out of the way really quick. It goes three to eight miles an hour. So this is not like a crazy fast board. That's not the point of this in any way. Uh, but it is, you know, it, it, that's a fair clip for like a little kid. If you re-gear it with different pulleys and stuff, you can get it up to apparently 15 miles an hour. Now, it's a small board, so 15 on this might feel uh, pretty quick, especially for a kid that's going to feel pretty fast. I was able to get the board up to about nine and a half miles an hour. I think I went down like a driveway uh, to get that extra little speed, but the board was able to carry my weight, no problem. I'm about 145 pounds, 150 pounds, somewhere around there. So it's got enough power to, to pull me around. I'm sure a little kid is gonna be able to fly around on this thing. Lectech says that the assembly takes one and a half to kind of three hours. Now, if you've never assembled anything, any like electric skateboard before, I could see that taking that long. Or if you're just, and if you're doing it with a kid where you're gonna be letting them do a lot of the steps uh, and learning along the way, it's definitely gonna take longer. For me, even while filming all the steps, it took me like 40 minutes and that's like, it was taking my time. I'm very used to putting together an electric skateboard though, and this kit is super, super simple. So we're gonna start out talking about the box, actually. The box has a really good design to it. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're a kid and you get this thing, let's say as like a, like a Christmas present or a birthday present or something, and you open it up, it's cool to have the box look you know, interesting and have all these drawings on it and like information on it. Like that stuff is cool. I remember being all stoked on that kind of stuff when I was a kid. I remember reading like every little bit on the box just to be able to fully get like the entire experience I could out of it. The box has an image of all of the parts and components that are included, which I think is cool, and also a QR code to a quick start guide. And this guide and these tutorials in here are amazing. You know, every step is really well documented and it even has little like animations that you can look at on like how to assemble the parts. So if you're trying to figure out like which way should the motor mount go onto the truck, uh, you can just look at these diagrams, these photos, read the descriptions, and then there's also uh, like customer service you can obviously reach out to if you're having any problems during the process, but you should be good to go with the amount of documentation they put together. I thought it was great. I didn't do anything out of uh, kind of my prior knowledge of stuff. I just followed the steps exactly like the documentation and I found no issues with, uh, with assembling it. I also used all of the tools that were included in the kit, which you get a T-tool, a like kind of screwdriver, Allen, um, you know, key style wrench, and a uh, and like a box wrench as well to, to, to tighten down the nuts on, on different components. Now, I <laughs> honestly, I would have rather used like my regular tools I have that I own, but I wanted to see what is it like to assemble this thing using what came in the box only. And I, it was totally fine. I had no issues. It's just like, you know how it is when you're assembling like Ikea furniture or something, you, it's nice to go grab your own screwdriver and not use the tiny one. Luckily in this kit, all the, com all the, all the tools were like normal hand size. They weren't like, they didn't cheap out to the point where every little tool is like just complete junk. Like these are decent tools to be able to assemble uh, the, the, the board itself. So the deck itself, uh, it's a cool little deck. It's really small, um, obviously, it's for kids. Uh, but I could fit on it, I could get my feet on it. Uh, it's got two cutouts for like handles so you can carry it. It's really nice actually. It's super crazy lightweight. I'll put the weight here on the screen. I haven't weighed it yet while I'm filming this, but put it right here. It's, it's, it's crazy light. There's only six battery cells in this thing. It is very, very lightweight. 
has a really subtle kick tail. It's not super aggressive, which is great. Um, it has like almost no concave. It's very mellow. Everything's very mellow about it. Even the like the grip on it, instead of using standard grip tape, I think it's like a lucid grip type, uh, like sandy frit. It almost feels like sand embedded in like an epoxy layer. Um, perfectly fine level of grip. And then on the deck, there's actually like a diagram of where to place your feet. So this is for the beginner. Uh, these are like the, the little drawing, like uh, when you're learning like dance steps in the 1950s. Like this literally, put your foot here, put your foot here, and go rip. The remote is super basic. Uh, it does have reverse, which is hilarious to me. I never even use reverse on my like larger boards. I know a lot of people out there like reverse. I never use it. Um, I have it. I don't even have it programmed on my other boards. Uh, but on this one, it does have it, um, which is funny. Um, it has three speed modes, so like a low, medium, high, and that limits your acceleration as well as your top speed in each mode. Uh, for me, I just put it in the fastest so it could carry me around. And it also has the ability to change like the braking level so you can lower the amount of brakes. The wheels are really nice and soft, so they're not gonna lock up when you roll over like a little pebble or something, at least they shouldn't. Um, you know, anything's possible, but they're, they're a nice, soft, like longboard style wheel. Um, and they're gonna dampen a lot of like the vibrations and stuff. Even though it's like a kid, you don't even care about any of that stuff. You're fine, but you know, it's still nice. And they should provide a really good level of grip when you're kind of riding around. The board even has LED strips that go on underneath um, that, you know, are really neat. So the board lights up at night. There's another like safety protection too for kids if they're out in front of their house and it's, you know, it's getting dark out. All of the hardware that you need to assemble the board is included as well, of course, and it's in small little like baggies that are perfectly labeled so you know what hardware to use with what component. And it also comes with a bag of extra hardware in case you strip one or you drop it and it you know falls behind the workbench, that kind of thing. Uh, you've got an extra set. Now I'm gonna quickly show you kind of the process of how to assemble the board. This isn't the actual tutorial by any means of like how to do it. I wanted to show you kind of how it basically goes together so you could know is, is this something that you wanna take on or not. It's a very easy process. I think the average person, if you can do like an Ikea desk, you could probably build this. So you start by assembling the truck by putting the hanger on the truck. Uh, this is a good time for kids to understand what a bushing is, how the hanger and truck actually function and they'll start to get their head around like, how it, how it works and like from this point in the future you can try different bushings that are harder or softer to get a different sensation when they're riding. Uh, these are very soft bushings so as an adult on it it's really easy to compress them and, and carve around. It's a really snappy little ride I have to say. From there you slide the wheels on, it comes with speed rings to protect your bearings a little bit. Uh, you put those guys on, tighten down the nuts. This is a single motor board. Uh, you only have one motor on here. So you attach your little tiny motor uh, onto your little tiny motor plate. Um, and it, the motor plate's really cool. It's anodized. Uh, it's this really nice kind of bluish teal color. Uh, the colors on it and stuff are fun. It's a fun board. And something to mention is that all of the hardware has a little bit of Loctite on it. So it's all pre-Loctited. Uh, and so when you assemble it, none of those bolts should rattle loose. From there, you take the motor pulley. Uh, this is what uh, drives the belt. And you slide that onto the motor shaft. And normally these use like a little... Um, you know, set screw and stuff. And it, you know, it's kind of a tricky process. A lot of people have like a motor pinion like this or a motor pulley slip. Um, but with this design, it's great because when you put it on, you just put one bolt right in the end of it and it tightens it down. Like it is a really simple design. I actually think this should be how all motor pulleys are for belt drives. This is, this is so much easier and simpler. Like, I don't know why we're not doing this already. The shaft of the motor has a threaded hole in it. So you just, bolt that thing right in. From there, you mount the motor mount to the actual truck hanger. Uh, you use uh, nylock uh, nuts and bolts on this one, so you don't need any Loctite on these ones, but really simple, line it up, put the bolts through, tighten it down. From there, you're gonna slide the wheel pulley onto the truck, and the wheel pulley has a carrier bearing, which is really nice, so it's um, it'll stay all like nice and centered, should run a lot smoother. It's a press fit uh, wheel pulley. So you take the wheel and you put it onto the truck as well then, and you just push it on. All of the pins that are inside the wheel pulley will go into the actual wheel itself. And that will make the wheel turn when the belt turns the wheel pulley. Go ahead and tighten down the axle nut. 
at this point you can actually put the belt on. So you just, you can fit the belt over the wheel itself and then slide it on and you're going to then line it up on the motor uh, pulley and the wheel pulley and then slide your motor until it brings a little bit of tension and tighten down all of your motor mount bolts. The deck comes with a nose, like kind of like guard, bash guard, so that if the board gets away from you, which it will when you're eight years old, and, uh, and it wants to hit the curb, instead of hitting the deck and breaking the wood, it will hit that little like kind of um, like hard rubber stopper, uh, which, is, which is awesome. It's great to think through these things. Then you have this little cable clip, and this will actually later you'll see guide the motor cable uh, from the motor to the enclosure, so it's not just kind of dangling and like could get hung up on things. So you place both those on, you put your bolts through the deck, you put your truck on and tighten it all down. You're gonna throw the front truck on too, tighten that guy down. So now you've got your trucks mounted to your deck. It's time to put on the enclosures. I love the enclosures on this board because they're transparent. And you can actually see all of the components, all the electric components inside of the enclosures. I always loved this style growing up as like a 90s kid. It was cool to see that stuff. You know, I think of the old IMAX and stuff that were clear and you could see everything inside. It was always a, a, just a rad look and really caught your kind of imagination. And they did that here. So you can see the batteries inside. You can see the uh, ESC, the electronic speed controller. You can see all of that stuff, uh, which is, is super cool, even as an adult to look at. But this uses a rail system where you slide the enclosures along a rail that's attached to the deck. First, you take these two little rail components and you're gonna attach those to the deck itself. First, you're gonna start with the ESC enclosure and slide that down that rail. And then you're gonna follow it up with the battery enclosure. And that one has a bunch of pins on it, like electric pins, and you're gonna plug that into the uh, ESC enclosure. So they line up, they slide together, and it just pushes right in. Once both are in position, you can tighten it down using these kind of set uh, screws on the side, and that'll make it so they're not gonna slide around on the rail while you're riding. You'll connect your motor cable. Now it's very important to pay attention to the cable connections themselves. They have little arrows, you line them up and then they just press fit right together. You route your motor cable down into that little clip I was talking about so that it's out of the way. At this point, you're gonna attach your LED strips. These are, they're nice, the housings that they're in, they're like hard housings. They're not just like just an LED, like loose strip like you see on some boards. Uh, they're peel and stick, so it's like a 3M style backing. You peel those off. Put them on the inside of the handles. If you put them on the outside, the cord won't make it to the enclosure. So just pay attention that you're putting them on like the inside of the, the, of the board of like where the cutouts are for the handle. Plug that into the back of the ESC enclosure and you're pretty much assembled now. At this point, you just need to charge the board, uh, the included charger. Now what I have here is, and this would be my huge con on this board is the charging system. It uses these big, this big like, set of pins that need to be perfectly aligned when you plug it in. Now, Lectech has told me that I have one of, I have the very early version of this and they're they're redoing the way that the whole thing charges the actual connection ports. So, I'm hoping to see it become a very simple charging connection. Um, with this one, I mean, more than likely you're probably going to be having like the adult always charge the board anyways when you have like a little kid or if they're old enough that you feel comfortable letting them charge, they can probably do this then on their own. But with mine, it feels like it would be very easy to bend the pins when I'm going to charge the board. But like I said, it looks like Lectech, when, when I asked them about this, they told me that they're redoing all of that and there's going to be a version two of like the charging connections. So Looking forward to seeing how that that's all handled, but um, but it's not it's not terrible. It's just you got to be paying attention to what you're doing. At that point, you're gonna charge it up. Once the charger uh, brick goes green, you're ready to ride. And it's as simple as that. The board is super easy to use. Uh, it has a power button underneath, so you can just reach down and hit it. Or it actually has roll to start. So if you just give the board a little kick, you'll hear it go beep, and the board will turn on. And then you just turn on the remote, and you're ready to ride. Riding the board. It, I, no, I'm not the, remember, I'm not the target market at all for this board. Uh, riding the board was really, really fun. Um, it's super carvy, like, cause it's so tiny. It's like a really short little wheelbase, short or narrow trucks, um, really soft bushings. This board is actually really, really fun to ride. Uh, I was manually on it, having fun, uh, just cruising around like, 
I only rode in very smooth areas and stuff and, and things like that, but I had a great time carving around on it and just remembering how fun a slow cruise carvey ride can really be. Now my plan with this board, I'm going to disassemble the whole board and I'm actually sending it to my friend Raphael out in Missouri and it's gonna go to his kids. Uh, so he's gonna have his kids assemble the board, which I think is super cool. Um, so they'll get a lot of fun out of it. He's got three rambunctious kids that are gonna probably rip this thing apart and uh, have a great time with it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you wanna pick up a board for yourself, uh, jump in the description, you'll find a link, you can go pick one up. And I will see you guys on the next ride.